Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of scientists, engineers, and other automotive industry experts. One such expert joining us today is Dr. Kashiv Sadiq, founder and CEO of Oxford RF. And Kashiv, welcome to AutoSense. Good to see you, friend. Thanks very much. Good to see you, Carl, as well. Kashif, tell us about Oxford RF and what is your unique selling proposition? Oxford RF was set up to address some of the challenges in the automotive and autonomous vehicles industries in terms of the perception sensors. So we saw that there are too many sensors on a vehicle at the moment. And what we saw is that if we could combine some of those sensors to come up with a wide field of view sensor, then we could replace multiple sensors with, with a few. And that's really our unique proposition, which is that we are doing the world's first solid state 360 degree sensing technology, which also translates into the world's first 60 radar technology. Yeah, then that's my th that's my next question, because I was thinking about this as, as you were talking. So let's walk through Oxford RF's 6D automotive radar. Tell us more about it. Absolutely. So it, it all starts with achieving solid state 360 degree sensing. So 360 sensors in the market at the moment, they will have a spinning component to them. If they're LIDAR, then they have a spinning optics in them. If they're radar, then that's spinning antennas. And the solid state sensors are pretty much looking in one sector, if you like. So they will give a maximum field of view of 120 degrees currently. So we have fused the two technologies to come up with the world's first solid state 360 sensor. This is one of the sensors that I'm holding in my hand is this, this sort of form factor, very small, a full 360 degree sensor. It's really waterproof and uh, has some neat arrangements in terms of the connector placement. But the uh, main feature is that it can look in the full 360 degrees, but doesn't have any moving parts in it. Now we can adapt that so that we could install only four sensors on the four corners of a vehicle. So in this model, I'm showing a vehicle in the middle and the vehicle has four sensors installed on the four corners of the vehicle. Each sensor has a wide field of view, which is 270 degrees. And the important thing is that their field of view overlaps so that if there is an object in space over here, then there will be one two and three sensors looking at it, which means that it's going to be very high precision and we can measure the scene from multiple aspects, which means that we get richer data compared with everything in the market today. Yes, if as you're holding that prop there, and this might sound like a really obvious question, but just go with me here for a moment. As you're holding that prop, are Oxford RF sensors, are they easy to use and integrate? Absolutely. So in terms of their interfaces, how they're installing on a car, they, they use standard interfaces and um, uh, the industry already uses corner radar sensors. So, um, uh, however, their field of view isn't as wide as ours. So in terms of its use, its integration, um, it can be installed behind a bumper, the form factor of the sensor. So the automotive one will come in in this sort of form factor. So the form factor of this sensor is uh, pretty close to um, existing sensors in the market. It's, it has a little bit of a curvature up top here because we are looking to create a 270 degree field of view around it, but still it is very compact and its a form factor is very close to existing sensors in the market. We use standard communications protocol in terms of the automotive ethernet and other, pro other protocols, which means that they're very easy to use. Plus you only need four of them. You, you don't need a lot of them. Four installed on the four corners of a vehicle, which means that we can use lower cost sensors as well and fuse the data together to get high resolution. So you no longer need a very expensive sensor to get very high resolution using our technology. 
We're speaking today with Dr. Kashif Sadiq, founder and CEO of Oxford RF, talking about uh, the Oxford RF sensor integration model form factor uh, and cost reduction a- as well. Uh, Kashif, what are some other core applications that we should be aware of when we're talking about Oxford RF? So for the automotive uh, radar um, application, what we are introducing to the market is the 6D technology. Now, the incumbent technology is 4D, which means that it can do the three spatial coordinates, the X, Y, Z, and and it can also do the velocity. However, the velocity measured by the uh, existing radar technology is only in the direction of the vehicle itself. So for example, if there was a vehicle moving perpendicular or moving at an angle, or moving in 3D, like like, uh, moving at an angle, plus also uh, going uphill, then uh, in those sorts of cases, the existing sensors can't characterize the dynamics of the target vehicle, which you need to sense in order to make a good driving decision. Think of a lorry parked on the side of a road. How do you classify, do you classify it as being on the road or off the road? So in that case, you need higher accuracy And then in terms of a moving vehicle in front of you, uh, obviously uh, characterizing its dynamics up front so that uh, you could know when it's trying to maneuver. um, And and if you could measure that uh, uh, very, very fast, then then obviously there's going to be a, a huge benefit for the automotive industry. And the way we are doing it is to look at the scene from two different places on the vehicle. So it's like stereo. Uh, measurement. And both of our sensors are going to be 4D, but when you fuse the data from two 4D sensors in the right arrangement, it becomes 6D data, which is a lot more information for uh, an automotive driving decision. Gosh, if let's say that I'm here at AutoSense and I'm watching this interview and I'm impressed with the props that you've brought today, the 6D radar, uh, the small car, Uh, showing that sensor integration model. And I want to learn more. Let's say that I see those props. I I want to learn more. How does one get in touch with you and the Oxford RF team for sensor trials? It's very easy. You can visit our website, www.oxrf.co.uk. You can email us at info at oxrf.co.uk. We love trials and we are really keen to conduct those trials where with our potential customers. We are speaking today with Dr. Kashif Sadiq, founder and CEO of Oxford RF. Kashif, thank you for being with us, for bringing your uh, props to uh, show us more about your uh, Oxford RF 60 automotive radar and then your small car, your integration model as well. Thank you for bringing those along, for sharing your expertise and thought leadership. Um, I look forward to being able to catch up with you again in the very near future. But in the meantime, for now, thanks for being with us, friend. Thanks very much for the opportunity. Thank you. For more information on Oxford RF and to find out more about our upcoming events, see the links in the description. And for more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and join the AutoSense community on LinkedIn. In Detroit, on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.